Hi everyone, I'm Hannah from iRespond's support team. I wanted to welcome you back from summer with some great news from Apple. Apple has announced that they have an iPad OS 17. This is a new version that's going to include many accessibility features that we're really excited about here at iRespond. And I can tell you that we're most excited about two items which are going to affect the experience in, uh, with eye tracking in an iPad a lot. These two items are called Snap to Item and Auto Hide. So I'll show you a quick demo of how to set those up and what they look like. Um, but first, let's explain how to find them in the settings. So in the iPad, if you go into iPad, uh, Settings, Accessibility, Touch, Assistive Touch, this is where you find all of your eye tracking settings in the iPad. So they've added a new one here under Devices and Hue. In the Hue menu, you can see that Snap to Item and Auto Hide have both been added. Snap to Item, when you toggle it on, is going to highlight every cell that you look at and it's going to make it easier to focus in that, on that item. So as you can see, every cell is highlighting as I'm looking at it here. When I turn Auto Hide on and off, what that is going to do is, uh, when toggled on, hide the pointer that you see moving around the screen normally with eye gaze. This way, you're going to have an invisible cursor, making it a little bit easier to get started with eye tracking. So let's see how it looks in a few different apps with both of these things turned on. First, I'll toggle home with our assistive touch menu. And let's check out what it looks like in an Apple app. In this weather app, you can see that all of the buttons and all of the cells within this app have been converted into a cell or a highlighted area on the screen. This really gives a made for eye gaze experience and it gives a really nice feeling as you're looking around. So you can check things in more detail and get to smaller buttons a lot easier. You can even uh, click on pop-ups that might come up. So this is going to be true for almost every app um, in, Apple's, um, in Apple's App Store. Now let's go into a communication app that might give you an idea of how this might look when you're actually communicating. As you can see, I can use this um, on a symbol communicator, or I can go into our text communicator, and you can see that all of the buttons, not only the cells that are representing symbols or letters, all of them are converted into this snap um, format. So it makes it a lot easier to just start typing on the screen. All right. And just like normal, like in iOS 16, you can navigate through the, uh, the iPad using assistive touch, and you can pause and activate the cursor in the same way as before. So I encourage you to check it out. All you need to do is download iPad OS 17 and change those settings that we looked at together. Thanks.